welcome in to the joust. It's game three. This one between the Cal Poly Mustangs and the Portland State Vikings. These two teams both earned victories yesterday and they're matched up here in game three of the Lancer Joust from Riverside. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, welcome in. I'm Stephen Douglas. Quentin Jones, the freshman, led the way for Cal Poly yesterday. An exciting victory for the Mustangs over the Tommies of St. Thomas. Quentin Jones had 17 points and six boards, and he led the team offensively. Kobe Sanders also got himself involved. He had 10 points, and it was a barn burner. They were able to outlast the Tommies. Tommies had a chance at a last-second bucket. Parker Bjorklund in the lane. Turnaround little hook shot rimmed out. Mustangs earned their second victory of the season. They're two and two. The Vikings undefeated as they won in exciting fashion last night against California Baptist. And the hero in that one was Ishmael Habib. He had that about 45 footer at the buzzer, 66-63 in a game that looked like it was headed to overtime and we are tipping this one right now underway here from Riverside. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. Jared Hyder dumped in now. Joel Armo trading leaves that one a little bit short and that's the way we begin. There is Ishmael Habib. Driving in the lane, turnaround jumper. He leaves that one short. And a couple off of the front iron to get us going here in game three of the joust from the Inland Empire. So it's spin move in the lane. That one rims out. Clinton Jones trying to pick up where he was yesterday with his 17 points, leading his team to victory. Good defense there by Armo trading, but Better offense, you got to tip your cap to Kendall Munson there. Patient work in the post, good footwork. And he's got the first bucket on the afternoon. Armo trading, working against Kendall. Here's Hyder in the lane, kicks out Kobe Sanders. He is pure from the corner, and Sanders a player who was with Cal Poly last season. They've got nine new faces on their roster, so not a lot of returners to speak about for head coach John Smith in his fifth season at the helm for Cal Poly. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here for you. We'll start off with the Vikings. Bobby Harvey, K.J. Allen, Jarrell Satterfield with the shot there off the front. And then Munson and the hero from a night ago, Ishmael Habib, the sophomore from Chicago. Here's Cal Poly's starting lineup. The transfer from Cal. Jared Hyder, Quentin Jones, the big game yesterday. Kobe Sanders, we've already seen him hit a three. There's Cam Mowray drawing a foul. And Joel Armo trading, rounding out the starting lineup for the Mustangs. So the Vikings, led by head coach Jace Coburn in his third season, very intense coach. Enjoyed our conversation with him. And it looked like yeah, Jones stepped on the line. So turnover here for the Mustangs. Just getting started. Thank you once again for joining us today. This has been a exciting first couple games of this tournament. Each game going down to the wire. Inside to Munson. Munson will back it down. Good defense once again by Armo trading. Shot clock at 10. There's Habib. 
doing what he does. And this one from downtown. Touching nothing but twine. So two point advantage for Portland State. Allen working against Hyder. Hyder will give it off to the freshman. Here's Sanders. Oh, he's tough to handle. Gets in the lane, but that one rims out. Sanders with his own rebound. It'll be a jump ball possession arrow favors the Vikings. It's a good effort there by Kobe Sanders. Got tied up. Quick call on the tie up there. Three minutes gone by. Team's trying to settle into their offenses here. Here's Habib into the lane. Thinks better of it. Got a whistle. And that one will be going back to the Mustangs there. Sanders, top of the key. Working against Munson, and he is rejected there. That was K.J. Allen got a paw in the... And Satterfield knocks that one down, and Cal Poly's got to take a timeout. They're down by five here early. So Terrell Satterfield had a bit of a quiet game yesterday, but we'll be back in a minute. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Welcome back to the Inland Empire. The third game in this tournament, early season tournament, three games in three days for all four of these teams. Both of these squads earning a victory yesterday. Portland State on a 6-0 run. Cal Poly looking to snap a little bit of a scoring drought. We've gone two and a half minutes now without. Sanders, Malray, and Munson making sure that there is no easy baskets. He said, young man, go earn them from the line. Cam Malray. Transfer from Northern Oklahoma College where he averaged nine points and just over five boards a game. Looking to get one of two here. And he misses both, so you could say that's a good foul there from Kendall Munson. It looked like that was gonna be an easy two at the cylinder. 
big fella came over and made sure that wasn't going to happen. There's another big fella in the post. That's K.J. Allen. He'll kick it back out to Habib. Back to Allen now. Jarrell Satterfield. Long one for Habib. He's not afraid of the distance. He knocks that one down. That was just a few steps closer than his game-winning bucket from a night ago. So Habib starts off in fine fashion. He's two of three from the field, both of them from behind the arc. In the corner, Mowray loses it. Here comes Munson running the point. Habib, and that one is blocked at the rim. Yeah, Malray getting a little bit of revenge defensively. And there's the freshman with the Euro step, Quentin Jones. And that stops the scoring drought at three and a half minutes. Munson in the lane. Good strong move. And he draws a foul against Tuka Hakola. Yakola didn't appear last night, but when you play three games in three days, you've got to you got to find some minutes for some guys, some guys that maybe don't always see the court. So Munson, he'll shoot two from the line. He's off on the first. Munson, 8 of 14 on the season from the line. Just under 60% now. Munson tacks that one on. Seven-point advantage here early. Vikings last night against the Lancers at one point were down by 14. They came roaring back, particularly in the second half. Hyder trying to get that one to Akola to not exactly on the same page and a turnover. post. That's Johnson coming off of the bench. Isaiah Johnson from Torrance, California. The transfer from Oregon State. He had a good ball game last night as well. Portland State currently in a 12-2 run. Basket there in the middle from the Finnish player, Akola. Oh, there's Johnson, alley oop. Good read there from Hunter Woods. And Woods and Johnson hooking up there. The Vikings looking good in this one so far. There's Isaac Spears. Aaron Price Jr. with the spin move in the lane, right-handed hook. That was good. Dribble drive in the lane. A penetration. Isaiah Kirby off the mark, though. Here comes Jared Hyder. Hyder draws a double team, gets it in the middle. Nicola a little strong off the window. Here comes the Vikings, looking to get out in transition. And that one thrown up for Hayden Curtis. Curtis not able to throw that one down. There's Johnson. He's been very active since he's got into this ball game. Three ball from the corner. Just off the mark, that was Hunter Woods. 
And Johnson, once again, very active right then, just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And another turnover here for Cal Poly. Shot put in. And it's Mr. Satterfield who knocks that one home. 10-point advantage here for the Vikings. They look good early with 12.05 ready, or 12.05 remaining in this first half. We'll be back in just a couple moments. In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets, fresh, affordable, community first. At Magnolia, we've been around so long because we're always on the cutting edge. Let Magnolia help you modernize your comfort with our new all-electric, ultra-efficient comfort systems. Magnolia Heating and Cooling, trusted in Riverside since 1951. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal, but at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. 10 point advantage for the Vikings as we start off for game three of the Joust. Justin Page running the point. Here's Kobe Sanders trying to get in the middle. And he gets that one up and draws a foul. Looked like Sanders cleared out a little bit with his left hand, but he was not called for the Offensive foul there. Sanders. From the free throw line. Sanders had 10 points in last night's contest. In 26 minutes, he was five of seven from the floor. Oh, I'm sorry, I said he had 10 points. He actually had 12 points and three rebounds. Just trying to go off memory. I should never do that because I have a bad memory. Sanders knocks them both home. Eight point ball game. Mustangs now need to stop. Stolen for the moment. Five to shoot now. At the buzzer, Hunter Woods with a little floater in the lane. And that's deflating for the Mustangs. Looked like they were going to get a defensive stop instead. With the shot clock winding down. Another bucket for the Vikings. Armor trading. Over to the freshman. Here's Jones, mid-range game. Short, off front iron, but off of Portland State. So the ball remains here with Cal Poly. A couple of green teams here. Cal Poly, they're in green, where the 
the Vikings are wearing their whites today. So Cal Poly with possession, excuse me. Kobe Sanders. They'll kick it out. Back into the post. Here's Joel Armo trading. Double teamed. Looking for help. Kicks it out. Open shooter, but Aaron Price Jr. not able to knock that one down. Here's Satterfield. Bounce pass on the cut. Looking for Johnson. He's fouled. So that one is on Justin Page. Three team fouls now. Paul Bizamana will check in for the Mustangs. Pull up Jay off back iron. And that one will go to Cal Poly. So no field goals in the last four possessions for Cal Poly. It's a span of just over three minutes now. Meanwhile, the Vikings are shooting 47% overall from the floor. Hyder rising up, knocks that one down. He got his legs under that shot, did Hyder. Here's Kirby. Trying to get around Hyder. Kick out. That one off the mark. That was Hunter Woods. Vikings now four of seven from beyond the arc. And that one is going to be waved off. That ball was touched over the cylinder. Wholesale changes here for the Vikings as they basically make a line change. Kirby still in there. KJ Allen, Bobby Harvey. Kirby off the mark. Cole Farrell also came in for the Vikings. Kendall Munson, the fifth player in that lineup right now. Hyder. Guarded very closely. And drawing the foul is Cole Farrell, who just checked into the ball game. And immediately making his presence felt with some tenacious defense. Jared Hyder in the mismatch with Kendall Munson, a kick out. In the corner, Bizimana drains that one. And now, Cal Poly suddenly within five. Now all of a sudden, the Vikings in a two and a half minute scoring drought. Here's Allen. He's going to be tough to guard in the post for Busy Mana. And right as I say it, Allen with a little step around and floater in the lane. So that ends the scoring drought for the Vikings. Sanders had a step on his man. In the lane, here's Armo trading, cleaning up the glass. The transfer from College of Southern Idaho. Armo trading, cleaning it up there. Bizamana getting on the ground. It's going to be a jump ball, possession arrow. Favors Cal Poly. So good job there on the 50 50 ball. Oh, if uh, Bizamana a little shaken up on that play. 
Seven thirty eight. Twenty three to eighteen. We'll be back. We'll step aside for these messages. In 1936, two brothers founded Stater Brothers Markets with the promise to provide good food at a fair price, commit to excellent service, and care for our communities. Today, our values continue to guide everything we do. We value our team and take pride in our work. We are humble, respectful, and challenge the status quo. We communicate openly, honestly, clearly. And above all else, we have fun. Stater Brothers Markets. Fresh. Affordable. Community first. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing. I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money, or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> And welcome back to the CBU tournament. The Joust. Leading scorers so far, Portland State, Jarrell Satterfield. He's got six. And on the other side, Cal Poly is led by Kobe Sanders with his five points. Team's pretty even as far as some of these statistics here. Total rebounds, plus two for the Mustangs. Points in the paint, plus two for the Vikings. And as far as the turnover battle, that's always important. As coaches preach, taking care of the basketball. Four turnovers, excuse me, for Cal Poly to just one for the Vikings. And another turnover right here as Justin Page trying to skip that pass over to Jared Hyder and didn't make the connection. So a fifth turnover now for Cal Poly. It's plays like that that'll drive a head coach crazy. John Smith in his fifth season. He's a Riverside guy. And uh, he coached at Riverside City College for quite a while. Brought home a state title. K.J. Allen rimming in and out on the three-point attempt. His Amana with the defensive rebound. Here's Hyder. Working against Habib. Kobe Sanders, spin move. Now back out to Hyder. Three from the corner is off the back iron. Here's Habib. Once again, the hero from last night's game. Game winner with 2.5 seconds on the clock. Inside Munson. Allen. Allen is tough in the middle, but he's going to get called four steps here. K.J. Allen cleaning up the offensive glass, but one too many steps when he came down with that one, looking to go back up. into the post. Hakola, a little too high off the glass there. Good defense from K.J. Allen. Allen now with it in the lane. Finger roll, a little strong with it. Three Cal Poly defenders there, so it was a tough take. K.J. Allen, one of those players, you expect he makes those more often than not. Here's Hyder. And he goes right into the teeth of the defense. Kendall Munson would have none of it. And then the transition three ball, Bobby Harvey spotting up and knocking that one down. 
So quite a swing there. Perhaps a five-point swing. Looked like Cal Poly was get something in the paint. Instead, Vikings go back and get a three. And offensive foul, the freshman trying to take that one to the rack. So Quentin Jones had 17 points, six rebounds in the victory yesterday against the Tommies. Jones just one of four so far in this ball game in his 10 minutes of action. Another line change here for the Vikings. Here's Satterfield. Yo-yoing up and down. Now draws a double team. Out to Isaiah Johnson. Johnson, he's really good about getting into the lane, backing down his opponents, trying to do that there. He draws a foul. Eight-point advantage for the Vikings. Looking to remain undefeated. Started off the season 4-0, and they have been quite the road warrior team so far. Obviously, the win yesterday, a win at Air Force, and then a win at the Thunderdome. Excuse me, uh, you see Santa Barbara, a real tough place to play. In the lane, slashing and trying to get that one in was Hunter Woods, but to no avail. Ball out of bounds. Mustangs will bring it up. Remember, these teams playing three games in three days, so there's going to be some times that certain players might not have the energy. And that's when you're going to look for some deeper rotations on your bench. Armo trading, setting the screen, looking for the ball back from Hyder. Instead, out to Sanders. Back to Hyder, long three. That one off the back iron. Rebound to Hayden Curtis. Habib over to Satterfield. Satterfield picks up his dribble. Here's Johnson, throws that one up wildly, but he'll draw the foul. That's a problem for Cal Poly. They need to limit the fouls. Joel. Armo trading, picking up his second personal here. So he'll give way. Inbound play, and that was too easy as Isaiah Johnson slipped through and slithered into the paint. Ishmael Habib able to find him easily. Real good inbound play set up by Coach Chase Coburn. He didn't set it up right then. That's something they've worked on for months. And with this squad, years. A lot of returners for Chase Coburn's team. And that's a point of, of pride for this team. Satterfield off the mark. So the scoring drought for Cal Poly is at four minutes. And it continues. A one and done. Now the transition game for the Vikings. Habib off the mark. Cleaning up the glass. Curtis. Habib gets on the ground. Five players in the scrum. And another timeout on the floor. 3.09 remaining here in this first half. 10 point advantage for Portland State, and they look good. This is a deep team for Coach Coburn. He comes out with different lineups. Let's take another look at that last sequence. Curtis trying to put that one back up and in. I believe the loose ball foul, yeah, it was on Cam. Malray getting on the ground there, trying to earn those 50-50 balls. But yeah, the Vikings, as I was mentioning, 
very deep team. So, they're enjoying a 10 point advantage here. Cal Poly, as I mentioned, nine new faces. They lost a few players from last year's team. In fact, they lost 88% of their scoring from a season ago. Kobe Sanders, one of the lone guys from last year who did some scoring. Lost guys like Trayvon Taylor, Chance Hunter, Cameron Pierce. Ali Coroma, he's up at Portland. He's playing with the Pilots now and averaging about eight points a game. And then Brantley Stevenson, who came back playing closer to home for CBU. Of course, John Smith, I mentioned this earlier, a Riverside guy. had said that he had won a state title with Riverside City College, and that was in 2009. So it'll be the hero from last night, Ishmael Habib. Habib, that's his seventh point now as he hits the front end of the one and one. Habib, six points. Both baskets from behind the arc. Now he knocks down those two. He's got eight for the game. And this is the point in the ball game here in the first half where the Mustangs need to gain some momentum going into halftime. They've got to get this thing closer, get a couple baskets, get a couple stops. Otherwise, they're in danger of falling in this one and having a non-competitive second half. Hyder, clock running out. He's got to put it up. And that one is blocked by Hunter Woods. Woods going to get it back, give it to K.J. Allen, and he is fouled. I don't know. Hunter Woods might have wanted that one back. Looked like he had a pretty good path to the rim there. But the non-selfish player that he is, He's out of John Muir High School in Pasadena. Hunter Woods gave that one up to the big fella, running the floor. I mean, that's that's what they say. The big fella's going to run the floor. You got to feed him. Allen hits the first of two. Seven zero. Now a eight nothing run over the last three zero seven of this one. So extending the lead, scoring drought for Cal Poly now at about five and a half minutes. Cal Poly just won for their last nine. Whistle on the floor. That's a foul on Isaiah Johnson. Johnson from Torrance, California. Take another look at it here. Johnson didn't do much there. He's probably not too pleased with that call. But, you know, when the player falls down, you've got to call something uh, as the official. Otherwise, it's a travel. So. Another foul. So that's now 16 fouls on Portland State. Sanders, Zimana, oh, good spin move in the lane. And the foul, be a blocking foul called against Isaiah Johnson. So Johnson picked up two fouls here in about the last 32 seconds. Johnson now with two. Busy Mana. Spent last season at Eastern Illinois. He appeared in 22 of 31 games. He had six starts. 
He had a season high, 11 points and nine rebounds last year. Joel Armatrading will come back on. Got to be careful with him. He's got two fouls. Definitely don't want to pick up the third here in these last two minutes because you're going to need him if you want to make a comeback here in the second half. J.J. Allen, Hunter Woods in the lane, good pass and good denial there at the rim. Believe that was Paul Bizimana with the rejection of Kendall Munson. Munson's a big, strong dude, so good defensive play. Good pass in the lane. Armo trading though lost the handle as he went up to try to two-hand slam. Bizimano will pick up the foul. That's his first. Cal Poly now no field goals in the last six and a half. Thirteen point advantage here. Closing moments of the first half for the Vikings and it's Kendall Munson. Miss it, but right there is KJ Allen. Another opportunity to extend this lead. Allen now with seven rebounds. That's a team high for the Vikings. Here comes the freshman. Transition basketball. Kizimana looking for it, calling for it in the post, but he loses it. And the freshman. Throws that one off of the Vikings player down the ground. Actually, it'll be a foul called on KJ Allen. That's his first. Allen getting on the ground there, but kind of jumping into the legs of Quentin Jones. Jones. This is on the front half of the one and one. So Quentin Jones, after having 17 points in last night's contest, he's been quiet here on one of five shooting, just two points. 13 point advantage. A little zone look for the Mustangs. Fizimana blocking that one again from behind. Shot. At the end of the shot clock, and there is Mr. Satterfield from Chicago, Illinois, dropping that one down. 16 point lead. Hyder. Want to get a good shot here. Sanders from deep. He's going to bank that one home. And Sanders. Able to get a bucket for Cal Poly and end that long scoring drought of over seven minutes, but they still find themselves down. It's 35-22. We'll be back in a few moments.
Welcome back. Halftime in this game three of the California Baptist University's The Joust. And Portland State on top here handily. So we'll see what kind of halftime adjustments John Smith and the Cal Poly coaching staff have made. As far as the leading scorers in the first half, Portland State led by Jarrell Satterfield. He had a kind of a quiet night last night, at least for him. He leads the way with nine points. He's got a rebound and three assists. And then on the flip side, the leader yesterday was Quentin Jones. He had 17 points, but he's only got two here so far tonight on one of five shooting. Kobe Sanders leading the way. He's got eight points. He's two of two from behind the arc and two of two at the free throw line. So not ready to get this one underway for the second half. Don't go anywhere, although it'll be on ESPN Plus. Got game four of the joust, and that's coming up. That'll be at uh, 5 o'clock this evening. That's when the Lancers will take on the University of St. Thomas, the Tommies. So each one of those two teams lost yesterday. These two teams on the court here, both the victors from a day before, as Cal Poly took care of the Tommies. That was 61-60. to 60. And then if you'll remember, Game-winning, buzzer-beating heroics by Ishmael Habib. Looked like we were going to go to overtime last night between the Vikings and the Lancers, but Habib said, let's go home instead. Ishmael starts with it. Him and Satterfield at the top. And that one... Out of bounds. Look like the freshman Quentin Jones from Hazelcrest, Illinois. Got a hand on that. Mustangs have a couple of freshmen from Illinois, Quentin Jones and also Justin Page. But talking to John Smith, I mean he's got to rely on you know some high school freshmen coming in. Good take right there. Right into the chest of the defense over Joel Armo trading. Here's Jared Hyder. Hyder. Smooth stroke, but off the mark with that one. Transition. And now we'll go the other way. Jared Hyder. And that one looked like. Might have been on a way down. Kendall Munson will throw it down at the other end of the court. So Munson. Now with five points. Here's Sanders. Drawn a double team. Step back J is good. Sanders now with double figures in the scoring department. He's the first one for either team. And steps, too many taken there. So a rare turnover for Portland State. Bobby Harvey, he's from Chicago, Illinois. Senior guard. Sanders with a step in the lane and a good take. So Kobe Sanders, he hit the three to close out the first half, and now he's trying to will his team back into it. And there's K.J. Allen in the paint, and he is a dangerous man there. So he will go to the charity stripe and try to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. K.J. Allen 
Mr. Automatic at the free throw line. Coming into the tournament, 19 for 22 at the foul line. Ranking the top 10 in the nation. Sanders trying to put this team on his shoulders. Will the Mustangs back into this one? Take another look at it. Sanders with a quick first step. Trying to get by Bobby Harvey on the foul. On Harvey, that's his second. Kobe Sanders from San Diego originally. First one rims out. Normally very reliable from the free throw line as well. He gets one of two here. A lot of work for the Mustangs to do. Habib, AJ Allen, pressure defense. Someone's open. Allen kick this one out. And there's the open shooter, Bobby Harvey. Bobby three ball, they call him. And a very consistent shooter from behind the arc for Portland State as they extend their lead. They're up by 18. Sanders, there's Aaron Price Jr. A little bit of a low pass to Hyder, digs it out. Shot clock running down, and now Habib with the steal. Satterfield thought better of the three-point opportunity. Instead, Habib takes it. And that one off of, I believe, the Mustangs. Look like two Mustangs fighting each other for the rebound there. Let's take a look at K.J. Allen on your screen. He's got like 135 followers on Instagram. I don't even think I have 135. But he's, you know, pretty famous. 45-27. Here's Justin Page. And trying to get that one to his big man. Instead, Kendall Munson going to throw it down with authority. So the big man on the break after the steal. And the Vikings up by 20. And John Smith needs a timeout here in the worst way. 20-point advantage. Portland State looking to run away with this one. We'll stay right here. 16-31 left in this one. And we will step aside as I don't feel like talking anymore. Okay, we'll be right back. Introducing bubbly sparkling water. Crack a smile. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. 
Welcome back. 20 point lead for the Vikings behind a balanced scoring attack. All five of their starters right around the same point total. Satterfield with nine, Habib and Harvey with eight, Munson and Allen with seven, and here's Kendall Munson throwing it down. That was the last bucket there off of the steal. Turnovers. Cal Poly with eight, five for the Vikings. But really the story for the Vikings has been their shooting. 17 of 41 from the field, including seven of 16 from behind the arc. So a comfortable advantage here. Here's Kobe Sanders. Shot clock already single digits. And Sanders and the Mustangs kind of bailed out there by that foul call. Otherwise, they're going to have a hard time getting a good shot off with about seven seconds left on the clock. Take another look. And check type foul there. Harvey now with three fouls. Now the other big advantage as Kobe Sanders knocks down the J for the Vikings. Another advantage has been on the boards. They're plus 11 overall in that category. Munson, Satterfield, near side, has a step. Trying to get past Hayden Jory. A.J. Allen, they will drop that one in. Allen now in double figures, the first for the Vikings. As I mentioned, their balanced scoring attack so far. Another whistle. 14 foul now for the Vikings. Isaiah Johnson comes on. Kendall Munson will give way. Gets a few high fives. Well deserved. And a timeout here on the court. 50 to 29. This one. Looks to be kind of taken care of already by the Vikings. A lot of game left to play, but we've documented the kind of the troubles offensively that Cal Poly has. They're not troubles at this part of the season per se, but they could turn into trouble as you get into conference. Nine new faces. These players trying to mesh with each other. Trying to get a feel for each other's moves on the court. You want to be on the same page, and it takes a little while to get that underway. Team played well yesterday against the Tommies. Tommies, a very well-coached team. They don't turn the ball over. They don't make a lot of mistakes, at least mentally. Uh, Cal Poly able to earn the victory. Looking to Get some momentum here from the one victory into this next game, but hasn't materialized here so far. Looks like Jared Hyder is over at the end of the bench, kind of stretching out. Looks like he's got a trainer there with him. Hopefully he's all right. Hyder, of course, the transfer from Cal Berkeley. He also played his freshman season with Fresno State at a Damien High School. Originally from San Bernardino, but he didn't play last season and had a knee surgery in December. So looks like he's all right. He's returning to the bench. Definitely want to, don't want to speculate on anything, but you definitely want to see a player who's already missed time. You want to see him healthy come back and produce with this team here. And he's a big part of this Cal Poly 23-24 season. All the experience he brings, a cool customer handling the ball. 
He's on the bench right now. That's Hayden Jory on the screen in number 11. Quentin Jones, number one. In green for Cal Poly. It's Kobe Sanders. He leads all scores with 15. Draws a double team. Tries to get that one into the post, but Isaiah Johnson read the pass. Another turnover for the Mustangs. Johnson nearly lost that. I'll get it out to Satterfield. Here's Woods, Hunter Woods. Outside name, inside game. And he's there with the bucket. So 52-29, whistle and a foul. Looked like that was K.J. Allen. Grab Sanders running by. So Allen, that's his third. Isaiah Kirby and Kendall Munson will come back. KJ Allen and Ishmael Habib will give way for the Vikings. So here's Jared Hyder. Looks like he is all right. He's back on the court. In the post, Sanders, deep position. But not able to put that one home. Good defense there. That was Hunter Woods. Now the transition game. Satterfield picks up his dribble. Now out to Woods. Johnson in the post. He's got some moves down there. Draws the foul here. Foul on Paul Bizamani. That's his second. Take another look here. Isaiah Johnson getting crafty in the lane there. Not able to pick up the basket, but I'll try to pick up the points here from the line. So another scoring drought now for Cal Poly. It's been two minutes since they've had a bucket. Johnson, true on his foul shots. Munson had a steal like that earlier, almost got himself another one, getting his hand in the passing lane. Bizamana, he'll take that to the rack, splits the defense, and he'll pick up his fifth and sixth points on the Knights. Still quite the advantage, though, for Portland State. Here's Munson working on the smaller defender in Price Jr., but Munson off the backside of the rim. Izamana almost took steps. Here's the freshman. He'll drain it. Quentin Jones with 17 last night. He's got just five now tonight. But it just takes one to get a shooter going. And he buries the tray there. Satterfield on the curl, and that one thrown away. Isaiah Johnson got himself up in the air and kind of had nowhere to go. Wasn't able to find his teammate there. So a 20-point game. Let's see. Just under 13 minutes left in this second half. Let's see if Cal Poly can make a run here. Starts with a basket. And then a stop defensively. Hyder working against Kendall Munson on the mismatch. Let's see if he tries to drive around him. He does. Kick it out. Is Amana. Oh, in and out on the three ball. But there's the freshman. Had that one ripped from him by Isaiah Johnson. Here's Satterfield from the corner. Looked like that one was going to go down. Fight for the rebound. Is Amana. Finally comes up with it. Good work by Paul. He's provided some quality minutes here in this one for his 
coaching staff. Jones trying to take it to the rack, but he gets fouled. It'll be the sixth team foul on the Vikings. So with 12.02 remaining, a 20-point advantage for Portland State. Looking to remain undefeated so far on the season. Introducing Bubbly Sparkling Water. Crack a smile. Conventional wisdom says breakfast is the most important meal. But at Provider Food Services, we believe that every meal you enjoy with us is the most important meal. Voted number one, this ideal drives us to bring you curated, chef-driven cuisine and composed meal experiences every single time. Whether you're dining with us or partnering with us, we want to give you the best and safest experience. So in these busiest of days, let's always enjoy the most important meal. Welcome back to the Joust here from the Inland Empire. Portland State doing some work here in their second game of this tournament. They took care of business last night beating the hosts. How rude. Last second shot by Ishmael Habib from nearly half court was the difference. Portland State, a little different type of a ball game here as they're up handily against the Mustangs of Cal Poly. Cal Poly evened up their record yesterday with a impressive victory over the St. Thomas Tommies. So a little bit later on, five o'clock on ESPN Plus, the Tommies and the Lancers will face off. Make sure you tune in to Braden Bell for that one. There's the freshman from Illinois, one of the freshmen from Illinois on this roster. Quentin Jones, the other one, Justin Page. Jones from Hazelcrest. Page from East Peoria. So the freshman knocks them both down. He's now up to seven after scoring 17 last night. Good take. Now good ball movement. Into the lane, Izimana said, uh-uh. Get that out of here. Now on the transition. Mustangs will slow it down, get into their half court set. Armor trading, trying to provide a screen. And Jones says, no, never mind, I'll run over here. And he's off the mark. Quentin Jones, good take, just didn't get the finish there. Out of bounds to Portland State. And up and in, that breaks a scoring drought, a little two and a half minute scoring drought by the Vikings. Retain that 20 point advantage. Here's Joel Armour trading. Spin move. Good move, but a better block there. Hayden Curtis pinned that one against the glass. Curtis, the 6'11 junior from North Bend, Washington. Good defensive play there. So we're talking about the depth of Portland State. And you can get a guy like. Hayden Curtis coming in and playing some strong minutes off the bench. 6'11", providing the defense. 
Isaac Spears will check in, replacing the freshman Quentin Jones. Spears, a redshirt sophomore from Las Vegas. It's a transfer from Montana State. High off the glass, and that's good for Isaiah Johnson. Johnson now in double figures. He and K.J. Allen both with 10. Kobe Sanders leading the way offensively for the Mustangs. He's got 15 on five of nine shooting. So Tuka Yakola will come back on. Joel Armo trading will give way. Sanders off the mark. And Spears looked like he had an opportunity to get that one, but wasn't able to corral it. So tomorrow, both of these teams will play, not against each other, but Portland State will take on the St. Thomas Tommies. That's tomorrow at 2.30. We'll have that here on the YouTube live stream for you. So tune in for that if you'd like to see some basketball action. There's Justin Page. And then Cal Poly will take on the Lancers of CBU tomorrow night at 5. Myself and Braden Bell will have that for you on ESPN+. Plus. The two teams missing baskets here. That pass, a little bit errant. Looking for Keyshawn Sanders. And Johnson's done that twice now where he's gotten himself up in the air on the baseline without an option. And then try to force something to a teammate, throws it away. So a two minute scoring drought now, 0 for 6 Mustangs and they're Last six shots. There's Kobe Sanders. Looking to back down his defender. Instead, jump shot, fadeaway variety, and he is pure on that one. Mustangs, though, still down by 20. Habib trying to work with. Isaiah Johnson on the two-man game, but instead that one a little too hot for Johnson to handle. They were pretty close as far as their proximity on the floor. Perhaps the pass a little bit too hot to handle there. So Kobe Sanders going to bring this one up down by 20. And right now, if you're the coaching staff for the Mustangs, you're looking for how your team handles this situation. Sanders off the mark as that three rims out. You're looking at things like body language. How are the teammates picking each other up? KJ Allen doing work in the paint. Yakola affecting the trajectory of that shot. Allen's like, oh, it's okay. I'll just kind of turn over here and flip this one up. Great body control by K.J. Allen. Yakola. Here's Aiden Prokop. Prokop picks up his dribble. Now here's Sanders. Back to Prokop. From distance. And Aiden Prokop, the junior from Ladera Ranch, knocks that one home. Over to Kendall Munson. Munson almost picked up that pivot foot. So 60 to 41, just under eight to go. We'll step aside. Don't go anywhere.
Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altera Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing. I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money, or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> <laughs>
Jones, 17 last night, nine tonight. Habib into Allen. Allen will kick it out off the double team. And another tray, Bobby Harvey. They call him Bobby three ball and, well, I mean, he can do that. He's made 62 three pointers in 33 games as a Viking. Obviously a couple more to his tally here. Page. Jones in the lane, knifing his way through, and he'll put that one up and in. 11 points for Jones, 17 for Kobe Sanders. Otherwise, not a lot of scoring for the Mustangs. On the flip side of that, Portland State, they have really spread around the offense. It's a traveling violation right there. Not only does the Vikings have three players in double figures already with Isaiah Johnson, K.J. Allen, and Bobby Harvey, Jarrell Satterfield has nine, Ishmael Habib with eight, Kendall Munson with seven. A little bit more distribution of the point production for head coach Jace Coburn in his third season doing an excellent job with these Vikings. And it's a testament to the job that he's doing, as that one's off the mark, is that he had nine returning players from a season ago. That was a team that went 12 and 19. So not a winning season to have nine players come back really says something about the culture and the environment that you have instilled. Inbound. Arma trading. Is Amana. Here's the freshman Jones. Trying to get back in the lane. He'll settle for a pull up J, and he is good with that one. So Jones picking it up here in the second half. Jones with 11 of his 13 here in the second half, as a matter of fact. Another foul here. So seven fouls for Cal Poly. Hunter Woods knocks down the first one. Wood seems like he's been a little more involved in this game, but he's just got six points now. Jared Hyder. Leading the point for the Mustangs. Here's Sanders. Kobe will put it on the floor, take it to the rim. Unable to convert, and now the transition for the Vikings. And Satterfield leaves that jump shot a little bit short there. Under four minutes to play. Sanders, Kobe will knock that one down. So Kobe Sanders now, 20 points on the ball game, including Three of four from downtown. He's on the defense. Satterfield will give it up. Hunter Woods. KJ Allen. He'll shoot it from deep. And just came up short there. 16 point advantage. See if the Mustangs can cut into this a little bit more. Kobe Sanders taking it to the rack. And the lob, Jones to Bizamana, that'll be a goaltending. So count the baskets. And we will go ahead and step aside with three minutes left in this one. Portland State on top handle.
Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm from Moreno Valley, California, and I've been with Altura Credit Union since 2017. Family time is extremely important. Being able to just pull my phone out and just go right on the app while the kids are over there doing whatever they're doing. I'm able to just go on the app really quick, transfer money or check my account, see if my deposits went through right away. With my Ascend checking account, I'm also able to check my credit score. I don't ever have to worry about anything in my bank account. Did I mention it was free? <laughs> <laughs>
Almost a steal there from Keyshawn Sanders. Prokup heaves that one, and that'll do it. See the last seconds tick off of the clock in this one. An impressive win for Portland State. Boy, they have looked good in this tournament here so far. They're the victors, 73 to 57. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Thank you to our entire broadcast team. I'm Stephen Douglas, thanking you for joining us today and inviting you to come back and Watch some more basketball with us. The joust continues at 5 o'clock on ESPN+. Thank you. So long, everybody.